Right, if you've been flying for a while with the Mavic and taking videos, you realize in auto mode it's really good, but it's not excellent. Uh, if you're used to taking pictures with a DSLR, something like this, a big camera with a big lens, uh, you have to use manual settings because you really can't use auto settings with something like this. So you get used to using the settings of manual when you're taking photos or video. So on the Mavic, in this really, I'm gonna to try to keep this short video, I'm gonna show you how to use the manual settings and turn your videos on the Mavic from looking really good to looking exceptional. You won't even have to do color processing afterwards if you do it really well. Check it out. Here we have some video footage of the Mavic Pro flying over frozen water on a cold day. The sun is behind the Mavic Pro and all camera settings are set to auto. The image looks great, but in reality it could be better. If I use the manual camera settings I get this. Here I have manually set the white balance, the ISO and the shutter speed. Now let's turn the Mavic Pro around 180 degrees to film with the sun in the front right. Again the picture looks pretty good, perhaps a bit too dark due to the image being lit from the front. But if I select manual white balance, ISO and shutter speed, I get a much nicer image and a more true image. Okay, let's have a look at the manual camera settings for the Mavic Pro. I'm using the DJI GO 4 app for this example. Once your controller and drone are connected, you can find the manual settings here on the lower right of your screen. For this demonstration, I have the camera style set to standard and the color is set to none. The first thing you'll want to set on your Mavic Pro is the white balance. If the whites are correct, then all other colors will fall correctly into place. Have a look at this picture. On the left, the white balance was set incorrectly, which then caused all the other colors to also be wrong. Here is a photo of a computer keyboard. In each photo, a different white balance was selected, which makes each keyboard appear a different shade of white. The keyboard in the center has the correct white balance. Whites can be either warm, cool, or neutral. The white balance setting is located here. You have six white balance settings to select from. Notice that the color of the white snow changes each time I select a different white balance. What is happening here is that the whites are becoming cool or warm based on the Kelvin scale. Watch what happens to the color of the snow as I move the slider between 2000 and 10,000 Kelvin. In this image, you can see that you can make a photo warmer or cooler by using the Kelvin scale. My goal is to get the snow looking white. The simple way to do this is to point the camera down and have the snow fill the entire camera frame. Then select custom white balance and move the Kelvin slider to the left to make the image cooler. Next, we will look at adjusting the ISO and shutter speed. To access the ISO and shutter speed, we must open camera settings. At the top of your screen, select the image of a camera lens, then select manual mode. The camera ISO is located here. As you increase the ISO, you increase the sensitivity of the camera sensor to light. The less light you have, the higher the ISO you'll need. The best possible image is the result of the lowest possible ISO. So during the day, try and film or take pictures with the ISO set to 100. Next is the shutter speed, located here. The numbers represent the amount of time the shutter is open per second. As you increase the shutter speed, moving objects begin to stand still in time, and more light is required. If there is insufficient light, then the image becomes darker. As you decrease the shutter speed, moving objects will begin to blur, and less light is required to film them. If there is too much light, then the image will become overexposed. One way to set the correct shutter speed is to set the camera on auto and look at what the shutter speed is reading. In this case, it is 1 1600th of a second. Now place the camera into manual mode and then select shutter speed of 1 1600th of a second. This is your base number. Now set the shutter speed either higher or lower to achieve the desired result in lighting. In this case, I'm going to set it lower because the image is too dark. Finally, here are the before and after results between auto and manual settings. So there you have it, a very simple explanation on how to use the manual settings and get some half decent, uh, much better than good, a quality video footage. So I didn't touch on ND filters and I didn't touch on a few other settings, but uh, maybe for a future video we'll touch that. So stay tuned and subscribe. Mm -hmm.